The bust of Nefertiti is a 3,300-year-old work of art that was originally found in Egypt by German archaeologists working there in 1912, and more or less it's been in the hands of Germany ever since. And ever since its initial unveiling, it's been steeped in controversy about where it should reside. Uh, a lot of historians and authorities believe that it belongs to Egypt, where they say that it was taken illegally. Egypt continues to ask for Germany to give it back, but every time Germany says no if they bother to respond at all. Even Hitler was a big fan of the bust of Nefertiti and refused to let her go, and we all know how he felt about black people in general. But recently, the question of where the Nefertiti bust belongs has expanded to not just be about whether it belongs to Germans or to Egyptians, but whether it belongs to everyone. Last month, a pair of artists released a 3D scan of the bust, and they gave it away for free. So anybody with access to a 3D printer could actually print out the Nefertiti bust on their own. The artists, Nora Albadri and Jan Nikolai Nels, have added to an ongoing and very interesting conversation about plundered artifacts in general, where they belong and who they belong to. The artist pointed out that the museum actually has its own high-resolution 3D scan that it refuses to release to the world so that only they can have all of the copies of the Nefertiti bust. Albadri and Nels say that to make their scan, they used a hacked Kinect in a backpack, and they just walked into the museum during visiting hours, walked around the bust, and collected the data. They say that they then turned over that data to an unnamed third party who took it and created the 3D model, which they then released at a large hackers convention. And the model has now been downloaded thousands of times. Recently, there's been an interesting new twist to this story. 3D modeling experts have looked at the scan and they say that there's no possible way a hacked Kinect could have achieved the high level of resolution seen in the scan. The artists don't really have any explanation for this because they weren't the technical people on this job. All they did was get the Kinect walk into the museum, and then hand the Kinect over to an unnamed third party who handed them back a scan. So people like Cosmo Wenman, who has produced many uh, past 3D scans of artifacts, say that maybe the artists are just pawns and that this unnamed third party actually had the museum's own 3D scan and he decided to release it under the cover story of using a Kinect. And there are comparisons you can see between the release scan and previews of the museum scan, uh, which were put online by the German company that actually did the scan. And people like Wenman say that they're way too identical for it to be a coincidence. So is this a surreptitiously taken scan or is it a stolen digital file? Either way, Wenman points out that the fault lies with the museum, saying that museums consider themselves repositories of secret knowledge, which I think is a wonderful turn of phrase. And it really makes me think about the ways that we view museums and how museums are uh, represented in the media, often as mysterious places. But if you think of one of our favorite uh, archaeologists, um, Indiana Jones, he says it belongs in a museum, and that's not so it can be secreted away, but so that it can be studied and enjoyed by as many people as possible. Of course, not everybody can get to a museum, and that's why it's great that today there are more ways than ever for people to enjoy and appreciate art. And that's why I agree with Wenman, and I'll quote him again when he says that the best place to celebrate great art is in a vibrant, lively, and anarchic popular culture. I completely agree, and I really hope that this growing uh, PR nightmare encourages museums everywhere to open up their data and allow more people to appreciate their art.